pay for my student loans and debt that way. <laughs> Cliff, Cliff, welcome to the St. Augustine's Asylum for the Mentally Ill. My producer Tom said good things about you. In your backpack is a flashlight, a voice recorder, an EMF, and a couple of little fun occult things. We'll let you know when to take those out. Ready to pay off some of those college debts and beer tabs? Well, of course you are. And when you're ready, enter in through those front doors. All right. Um, welcome to Paranormal Entities. Um, don't know what the game is about. Paranormal stuff, I guess. Um. Uh, I know it's kind of weird, but I really like that picture frame. When you're done, can you bring that with you? Dude, you're weird. Why would you? Maybe he's gonna take the picture out. He just likes the. He did say he liked the frame. Yes. All right. Nice. The door was unlocked. Ah, it can get a little sticky sometimes. So here's the story. Founded in the 1880s, closed in the 1960s, and a lot of nasty stuff happened here. I mean, this place is only supposed to house around 500 patients, but at its peak, it was around 3,300 patients in here. I mean, the place was, you know, less of a hospital and more of a place where you dropped your problems off and hope they disappeared. Uh, the door's locked now, guy. Do you want, do you want this? Do you want this picture frame too? It's the same one as before. All right. Um. Yeah. So far, creepy. I like it. In the end, this place was sort of against what the Bible is supposed to teach. I mean, there was no love here, no grace, no healing. The patients were not here to be rehabilitated. Ordinary mm -hmm. people just wanted them gone for public. They shoved those with non-threatening mental conditions or those deemed inappropriate to society together with legitimate psychopaths and murderers and other violent monsters. And this is where the hundred hallway let God sort it out. Mean. And we heard the that the patients here in 1920 actually received the decent death care. Toll was then the war hit, the depression hit, and then the budget all fell care. apart. The remedy stand is once healed, you never left in need of attention. By the end, 150 patients have passed through this room, naked, starving, attacking each other at random, flaying themselves with metal wires from their beds. Be careful where you step. All right. Didn't want to do that. <laughs> All right, this is a good place to start. I want you to take out your voice recorder, and I'll hopefully be able to awaken this place. Okay, spirits of St. Augustine, please reveal your presence to us. Show us that you are in this room. Feel free to interact with anything or speak to us. Use your words, use your voice, and let us know that you're here. Okay, play that back. Let us know that you're here. Uh, nothing. All right, let's try that again. Okay. All right, all right, let's try this. Ghosts of St. Augustine, please let us know that you are still in this hospital. I give you permission to reveal yourself. I give you permission to come to life. Just give us a sign that you are here. Tell us where you are. Speak to us now into this microphone. All right, check that. Now into this microphone. All right, let's try one more spot. Yeah, over here. Ghosts of St. Augustine, you're all a bunch of ghoulish pricks. Show up or piss off. Was that? Was it this one? 
morgue. Like, there's so many invisible walls, it's not even funny. I'm thinking it's this one. Keep going straight into the hospital. Yep. Um. Okay, the four areas you need to visit to fulfill your contract, the e-social area is the first on the list. This is the area where the inmates who are deemed a danger to society would convene. You'll go to this room and perform a summoning ceremony. So walk into the center and we will begin. I don't want to. Is that where you want me to be? I, I'm not gonna lie, I kinda forgot what he told me to do. Summoning circle, or ritual. In the center? I don't know. This is the entrance to patient cell 200 through 219. We're talking extreme bipolarism, schizophrenia, dementia. Not necessarily dangerous, but it could be a challenge for society. Dang, the door's locked. That sucks. Okay. What do you want me to do? This is the entrance to the patient cells 220 to 240. This is where they kept the lunatics, the murderers, the sociopaths, the worst of the worst, including Clive the Peeper Johnson. You'd think he would be a pervert with the nickname the Peeper, but the truth is far worse. He was extremely manipulative and very intelligent. He was a murderer and a maimer. Most of his victims could never identify him because he managed to convince them to gouge their own eyes out with metal wires and even their own fingernails. He came here due to legal loopholes and when the facility went off the rails and the doctor stopped caring, he jumped into action. The patients who didn't listen were tortured and the ones who did wandered around the facility, blind, screaming, and in constant fear. This door's locked too. Let's just start the ceremony. Okay. Spirits inside this asylum, we know that you're here. We release you from your restraints. Come forward and live again. This person is no longer shielded from the realm of the dead. No. You may be seen, no. interact, and manipulate no. him in any no. ways you see Oh my it. god. Oh my god. You're an asshole, dude. <clears throat> You're a real asshole. Oh. Hello? Oh. Oh. You want to sleep with me? You're weird. I take that as a no. I'm I'm gonna go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Oh, I can just get a job and pay for my Amazon boxes. You guys fucking, st you guys are stealing my box. Real scary. Real scary. What is Joe Swanson gonna come and get me? Hey, Peter. Come over here and kiss me on my hot mouth. Okay, locked. Locked. Oh, opened. Hello. What's your name? deeper um okay i'm going then get the hell out of there just just go to the front door and get out you don't have to tell me twice
Alright, get out of this hallway and, and take a take your second right. Second right. Oh, I swear if I die, dude. Damn it, damn it. Uh, okay, there's a, there's a staircase. Take the staircase up to the second floor, and you should be next to a fire escape. You should be able to get out that way. So, so go up the staircase. Staircase? All right, going up, going up. Don't leave me. At least you're not trying to purposely get me killed. Right? It's locked. Dude. <laughs> Crap. Uh, okay, we need to... Let's go get something to pry this door open. Go back downstairs. I, I bet you there was something downstairs we could probably use. Hold on, hold on. That staircase wasn't there before. It wasn't. This place doesn't even have a basement. The, what? What is going on? All right, all right, just... I don't think you got any other choice. I think you gotta make your way downstairs. Right, um... I'm going downstairs, going down many stairs. Uh, dude, you're not helping. Oh, don't even laugh at me. Don't do that, that's not nice. Uh oh. Oh, I'm back in this fucking hallway. Oh God. Oh no. Oh, hello. I'm just gonna keep going. Check every door. I check every door I can. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Can you go that way? All right. Oh, oh no. Student dent, they said. Get rid of it, they said. They said it would be fun. No, no, the fuck it is. And it's, it's not fun. I could just get a job. And pay for my student loans and debt that way. <laughs> oh. Fuck off. Dude, I really need some comfort right now. I'm sorry. No eyes, don't see. Blood. I didn't see it. I'm starting to go insane myself. Got it. Alright, confession time. Uh, it's about the eyes. I kind of hid this from you. There's an urban legend, and, and I, I repeat, it's an urban legend about the peeper Clive Johnson. You see, the there was a patient who suffered from dementia and swore that Clive was more than just a mere man, and uh, he would kind of haunt this patient all throughout the day, you know, rampant hallucinations that progressively got worse, but at night, he never saw the peeper. Then he discovered that if he closed his eyes, he could escape Clive, but whenever he opened them, Clive would be there, waiting for him and getting closer and closer. 
Eventually, the patient used a fork, and he blinded himself. And while he was soaked in his blood from his sockets, he screamed to the entire hospital that he was free. He was safe. And a week later, two more patients charged Clive with stalking them, even though he was confined to solitary. I mean, it's crazy. They, they took their eyesight, too. His pattern didn't stop. I thought it was BS, but based on what we've seen tonight, I don't pretty much believe anything. So, try to get the hell out of there, and if it gets too intense, try to shut your eyes. Oh, you asshole. Damn flashlight broke. I can't use that anymore. Right. I'm running, 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 I'm running from what? I have no idea. I can't see shit, Captain. I gotta sneeze. A bad time to sneeze. Wait. Well, that was paranormal entities. Oh, there you go. Oh, there you go. That is paranormal entities. Um. Oh. That was paranormal entities right there. That was good. Gave me a lot of scares. <laughs> but I'll leave a download link in the description for this game. It's a really great game. You should try it for yourself. But I will see you guys in the next video. Oh,